When clients say it's too expensive, what would you say? This video is all about how to handle this objection. Indeed, there is more than one way to answer this question properly. And very honestly, I love receiving this objection for three main reasons. Number one, it reminds me that uh, I'm not uh, the cheapest solution in the market uh, and I have a value. Number two, your potential clients uh, recognize uh, you are not for everyone. And number three, I'm not competing on prices uh, that for sure is the best way to ruin your company and your reputation. Once uh, your potential clients associate uh, you with the cheapest solution in the market, uh, it's very hard uh, to persuade them to change their idea. With that being said, let me picture different scenarios in order to help you manage this objection. My name is Max Cecco and I teach aspiring entrepreneurs and professionals how to turn their knowledge and or someone else's expertise even into a seven-figure business. If you like my content, subscribe to this channel and hit the like button. You have to know that um, when potential clients complain about your prices, it is because for one of these two reasons. Number one, they didn't recognize your product or services value. And number two, they didn't recognize your value, especially when you're selling coaching or mentoring programs, when you are working directly with clients. It's all about value. Your potential clients don't justify the investment you are asking because they cannot visualize the return on investment, or they don't believe in your solution, or they don't believe enough in you, or they don't believe enough in themselves to get their desired results thanks to your product or service. So, during the sales call, you need to find the real motivation behind this objection. Before sharing with you some real examples of how to handle this objection, let me share another essential aspect of receiving objections. You must see the objection as a sort of benediction. Your potential clients are warning you that one or more than one reason why is preventing them from buying your product or service. The following aspect is crucial for you to understand. If they are on a sales call with you, it means they have a problem and they haven't been able to fix it by themselves. So they need your help. Now it's your turn not to screw it up. Example number one, Kevin says, it's too expensive. You can answer with something like this. Too expensive? This simple question pushes Kevin to talk about the objection. Kevin can say something like this. Yes, Max, it's too expensive. I thought uh, your service costs uh, $2,500, not $5,000. In this case, you can say, hmm, I understand. Can I have your permission to be very direct with you, Kevin? Yes, probably. Normally, when people say it's too expensive, it means one of these two things. They didn't understand the value or they really couldn't afford to invest that amount of money, which is your case. Now, Kevin can say, I understand the value and how you can help me in my business, but uh, I don't have uh, this amount of money available right now. At this point, uh, you can say, thanks for sharing, Kevin. I can offer you three monthly installments uh, without any additional cost. 1,500 pa plus 1,500 plus 1,000. Does it sound good to you? Most probably Kevin says yes and you close the sale. Now, let's switch to another example. Example number two. Lucy says, it's too expensive. You can answer, Lucy, you are right. We are not the cheapest solution in the market. So why do you think we are more expensive than anybody else? Lucy can continue the conversation. Oh, well, probably because you deliver results or because your clients got the results you promised them, or you are the best at doing what you do, dot, dot, dot. And you can continue the conversation. Thanks, Lucy. So. Do you want the best solution in the market uh, that really helps you get uh, the results you want? Uh, or probably you want the cheapest solution? Make your choice. Now Lucy can say, yes, you are right. So, thanks Lucy. Where should we go from here? Or what would you like to do? Another example for you. Example number three. Loris says, it's too expensive. You can answer, yes, Loris. We are the most expensive when it comes to learning copywriting. Now, I have a question for you. 
Why do you think others pay us that kind of money? Once again, by eliciting the right question, we transform our potential client into a seller. The key is to push them to sell the product to themselves. Now, let me summarize uh, some crucial points uh, you need to pay attention to during the call, no matter the objection you receive. Point number one, never answer the prospect's uh, question. By doing so, you are justifying yourself and you don't have to justify anything. Always answer with a question. They have to explain to themselves why they need your help. Point number two, you should be worried when you don't receive any objection because this is the perfect symptom that your potential client is not interested in what you are selling. Point number three, you are in control of the conversation. Your main goal is to turn your prospect into a seller. Your prospects have to sell to themselves why they need your product or service. They are talking to you because they need your help, period. And with that being said, if you want to improve your closing skills over the phone, I highly recommend watching this video. How to close big sales deals over the phone in three steps. It is when you close the sale that you receive your commission. So watch this video now.